Hello again, everyone. Rare Modern Reviews here. And today we'll be continuing off where we left off <laughs> with the last unboxing. So, oh, geez, besides the fact you guys just kind of got a spoiler what's in this one, we already know what we want to really see. So, I'm not going to beat around the bush. Ugh. We're going to go ahead and look at what is hands down one of the biggest boxes I've ever seen. Not as big as the Dendrobium, I can say, but definitely bigger than the, even the Psycho Gundams. And that is the Destroy Gundam that I can't even get in the frame here. I never knew the model number for this thing, by the way. G-F-A-S-X-1. wonder what that is supposed to stand for. And I hate that it says Omni Enforcer Mobile. So this is a mobile armor. Get it right. But um, this thing was featured in the beginning of Seed Freedom. Yet they show off the uh, Freedom and the um, Impulse. And of course it says that it's from Seed Destiny, but... I just wanted to kind of mention that because, of course, I'm a stickler for that kind of stuff. So I'm not going to be able to pick up this box. I'm going to have to kind of kneel down and <laughs> uh, look at the artwork and what have you on the bottom of this thing this way. So this thing, first and foremost, is going to be loaded with beam effect parts. This thing has to have taken a record for most beam effect parts in a kit like ever. And I'm, I'm going to assume that this is just like in a high grade line period. I feel like we've had way more than 246. But um, we, of course, have this amazing 3D image here of the Destroyer Gundam versus our Gundams from the show. We have here the um, history behind it and all that good stuff. And again, just more action and detailed pictures of this thing. And this head just looks amazing, man. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad they made a Destroyer Gundam. This is definitely... A kid I always wanted to see happen, but uh, I, I, I can't believe the Mad Lads did it, man. And I'm glad they waited, as if they're going to ever make a kit of this infamous mobile armor, it has to be when the technology is right, and um, it's going to be right. So, enough beating around the bush. Let's go ahead and open this big boy up and see what's inside. All right, so opening her up, we have, first and foremost, two sides of runners here that's just separated in... Well, two different boxes, sort of like what the Dendrobium was, but of course not nearly as big. And then a giant pile of Master Grade size beam sabers. I can't quite see what um, the year is, but these look about the same size. And they're labeled SB. I'm pretty sure those are usually like uh, Master Grade size beam sabers. Then these are going to be a pack of high grade slash real grade sized uh, beam sabers. Just a dozen each, by the way. <laughs> That's definitely a lot. A very great fluorescent green color, by the way. We have one half of the turtle shell here. Some light gray almost whitish pieces for who knows what but of course we'll soon find out some very small uh bunch of stickers there some red parts as well some more grays i think one of those might be a part of the action stand i can't tell another light gray there and then this is actually very surprising here these are going to be the beam effect parts for the cannons on the backpack and it looks like these are actually going to be two halves of each of beam effects so you're going to have to kind of like combine those so i've never seen that on a beam effect so that is quite interesting you expect them to just cheat and use one of those giant z plate beam sabers that i've been uh showing off in all my mobile armor reviews like why not just take the shortcut pant time <laughs> but no I, I praise them for actually going ahead and giving us something new here more like great parts here of course now these are labeled 2023 i noticed that for the pink beam effect parts as well so i didn't realize this thing came out last year i thought this thing came out 2024 so it must have came out like literally at the end of um the year or something but uh anywho this part here kind of mirrors what we've seen in the um other side of the box here now we get into some more unique stuff a bunch of extra pieces we're going to slap together to make the turtle shell so i have some more light grays and honestly i've pulled some of these things i don't know what even goes to what i'm gonna have to figure that out when we actually build this thing so we have a bunch of yellow parts here and oh my gosh these uh green parts look amazing i love this color i've never seen anything that looked that good in clear green before some more what looks like black parts there now this is going to be for the i guess you could say the face of the turtle so more whitish grayish parts here more specifically for those missiles there that's what stand out the most to me and then i've missed the other one but this is going to be for one of those hand laser thingy majigger so now that we are all done here we're going to go ahead and look at this manual which is very retro by the way so 
getting going into it, as we've seen from some of the runners, this thing actually came out before the Rising Freedom appearance. Those things also 2024. This is 2023. This is actually a very old school style manual. It looks like um some of the older um hybrid stuff from the uh, UC line. But anyway, at least gives a nice description of what this thing's abilities are. No color images here like the others had, but you do have a very big list of runners here. You do have a rather modern looking uh, guide on which order you're going to be building all this stuff and what have you. So let's say we're going to be building the Gundam itself, followed by the turtle shell, the runner, and then it explains you how to put all the uh, large assessment of uh, um, effect parts onto this thing. Even has an older style, um, whatchamacallit, uh, instruction layout. And it's actually good that I, I'm showing this thing because when I show up the other two, um, Catch you be able to kind of see what I meant when I said the newer series is always start some of the newer um, ways of doing things with the mains and what have you. So even though this thing was released hand and shoulders with the Seed Freedom stuff, as I mentioned earlier, this thing is still marked as a Seed Destiny kit. And as a result, it did not get the Seed Freedom treatment with the manual. It gets the old school um, instruction style, which still descriptive enough for you to um, get things done. Now, this is the thing that I wanted to show on camera for you guys when I finally get around to reviewing. That is this interesting way they have you build this thing where you would cut out the uh, middle of the fingers here, put it onto the runners, and then this way you kind of have the fingers pre-built, and then you just slap them onto this other part of the hand here. So that's a very interesting process they did to make the hands a little bit easier to build. And I definitely praise them for trying something new and a bit unorthodox for the construction so hopefully it makes things a little easier as so this is going to be a big kit it's not going to be my hardest project i'm sure i might have to give that to the dendrobium that thing was just about as hard as i honestly expected it to be i try to hype myself and say ah, it's just a big high grade but uh much like those teams of zakus that got decimated by the dendrobium yeah that thing's not just a hulk <laughs> But uh, moving on to the current relevant mobile armor, which, by the way, I definitely will be bringing out the Psycho Gundam and the um, the Drobium Force size comparison. I guess probably even the um, Apex as well. Why not? <laughs> Just bring out every mobile armor I have. So we, of course, have another look at some of the um, stats on this suit, the history and all that. So you get a nice little look at the weapons and what they're all capable of and whatnot which i mean the name is called the destroy so i'm sure you can guess what <laughs> you know it's uh capable of doing we have some history of what this thing did in the uh show itself and then of course we have here showing off the rest of the uh c destiny uh mobile suits here which is ironic because it's showing the freedom gun on that's technically a c kit but um anywho we are moving on along to the final stages of the construction for this thing, namely the giant turtle shell, I have to call it. This thing looks like a very big, evil, and angry uh, turtle. And I just love the fact that this thing is just like fully transformable. It's not there's going to be any part swapping. So this is something that I've heard about. Apparently, they're trying to tell you, you know, after you combine this thing, it can't be separated. Some people have found ways to unseparate it, but honestly, I don't know why you'd want to take the backpack off. So, um, I mean, if you want to take it off so bad, go ahead and risk it. But I personally am going to put that turtle shell on. It's going to stay there. Now, this thing does have some very big feet. And the way that they have the feet structured with that um, kind of talon type fashion, I think it should be pretty stable even without the action base, but uh, we shall see firsthand. I, of course, will be standing this thing up in both Gundam and mobile armor form to see how stable it is. I predict it's going to be a pretty stable. But, of course, even if it can't stand up very well, we have ourselves an action base, and I love them for doing that. It's always nice when they uh, include action bases, especially for behemoths like this thing. So, that, of course, is going to be it for this uh, monolith here. I'm definitely very curious to see how this thing sizes up compared to the cycle gun. I'd have to go bust out the manual for that thing and see which one's bigger. But I get a feeling this thing is going to be towering over the cycle Gundam. And uh, probably would look pretty big even next to the Dendrobium. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on <laughs> uh, properly. And then we're going to look at the next 
kit to unbox. So getting on to the much smaller box here. First and foremost, this too was a unbox, I'm um, sorry, packaged by the Legend Mango here. And also, now that we have a second one of these, you'll be now seeing another one of these here onto my desk. <laughs> so we kind of spruce this up a little bit, make it look a bit more uh, gun to me. So this looks like the exact same menu or part of, uh, geez, uh, manifest. Uh, can't, I'm failing to find the words here. As the last one, so I'm not gonna go too crazy with this one. So let's go ahead and look at the kit here that already kind of spoils in here. Refuse to let you guys see what the last one is, but let's be honest. If you see what this is, you can probably guess what the uh, next one is. So we have the Black Knight Squad. Rudro, I'm assuming this is how this is uh, pronounced. And this is piloted by Griffin Arbalest. So I have no idea who that guy is, but hopefully he is cool or she. I'm going to assume it's a he. Griffin sounds like a boy's name, but... <laughs> Uh, going along here with the box, this thing is going to have amazing articulation just like the rest of them. Amazing parts. And we have this unique beam cape here, which reminds me a lot of the Crossbow Vanguard. How they have that beam flag. So it looks like this thing has two different types of stickers you can do for the mono eyes here. So that is a very cool. I doubt this thing's coming with an action base, but it'd be awesome if it did. So this is going to be 247. This one came out just before uh, Luna Mario, so... I'm very curious to see what this thing, um, or rather how this thing will compare to the others. And I don't think I showed a bottom box. A lot of these new kits have that little uh, extra label to the bottom of it. But um, we're going to go ahead and open this thing up. I said we have a side. All right, so open this bad boy straight on up. We have a couple of runners here with light grays and a black, making a bunch of parts. Looks like mostly for the arms and legs. Have a Decent size plate of, or sorry, sheet of stickers, and then it shows off that uh, detail we had before with the different eyes. Have some black stickers here with a little gray border around them, the greenish sticker there as well. So, I'm probably gonna actually end up going with the first uh sticker there for it, but we'll see. And we have some clear green parts of like on the bottom as well. A nice red beam saber effect there for the um giant sword or whatever you'd call that thing. Some more black pieces there as well, making up most of the body. What other parts we didn't see? Then we have this nice beam cape effect here. Now, a lot of people talk crap about this beam cape effect. They said that they were not much of a fan of it, but actually, I really like the way it looks. It has this weird soft material. I almost want to rub my face around with it or something. <laughs> like, I really want to see how this thing feels like texturalized when I'm done um, with the review, just to you know, really get a feel for it. So... That is it for the content of the box. And that's about time we look at the um, manual here itself. So let's take a look. All right. So taking a look at the manual here. This thing is going to be a Kingdom of Foundation mobile suit. So our first new faction of uh, suits here. And of course, I'm going to assume that the suit before this is where they start actually showing off who the pilot is again for the um, kits here. And of course, we have some information on the uh, Black Knight squad root row here and of course they mentioned the black knight squad so that's interesting that they mentioned the squad there should have showing the uh, foundation logo or whatever this thing is supposed to be coming from we of course have the first two images inside the menu here colored but the um this looks like another map layout like i said on uh, my last video they seem to be doing for these menus which is a little bit of a pain spread out super duper long like this day even look at this thing so next up we have a nice little look at the um arms here in the construction i just love that they use this little blue border around for the uh detail look underneath it so you can get you know these 3d images on how things are set up and what have you but i, I just really can't wait to uh build these things i'm a little less excited to build a destroyer now because this the manuals for these newer seed freedom kits look so much better and cooler <laughs> you have the old school type manual for the destroy but i'm sure the experience of building destroy itself will make up for it and i just love um this night style aesthetic they have for these um suits i'm actually surprised again wasn't part of the same group as these Although I get that it like sticks with that Zav whole um, 
thing of them using like old Xeon suits, but like modernized or whatever. But the gown looks more night like, you know, it fits in with these things so much cooler. All this thing's called the Bean Mantle. So. But um, moving on along here, we of course have the final images here looking at the weapons and not explaining anything when it just shows them all, so that's a little disappointing. But um, regardless, that is going to be it for the rude row here. So let's go ahead and fold her on up. Throw it into the box here. And then set this thing up so we can look at our final kit, which I'm not gonna give a drum roll, let's be honest. You guys know exactly what this thing is based on what we saw just now. And that of course is gonna be the Black Knight Squad. Shivy or Shive. A. Anywho. <laughs> so this one is going to be the squad leader. Distinguished by the fact that he has different weapons. Now, for those of you who do not know, the um Rudro, I just took a look at. There's actually a P Bandai exclusive version of that thing, which comes in a three-pack and it uh contains the other three versions of the Rudro. It costs about 80 bucks. And I may or may not be tempted to get it. Oh. So this is 45. I believe that one was 47, huh? So what's 46? Oh, the destroy. That is so weird. I literally have it sitting here right now so you can look at it. So 45, 46, and then 47. These things must have been built in like tandem with each other because this thing has like a completely different manual setup than these things do. Like what? That is very inconsistent of them. But moving on, I think I've totally looked at the inside of the box, so apologies if I didn't. So we're going to go ahead and open this thing going up and uh, see what's inside. Okay, so taking a look inside this box here, we have a bit more of a beefier set of stickers here. So not nearly as many as the uh, Rising Freedoms, but still quite a bit. Uh, mostly some blacks here hiding behind that uh, plate. You can see some of the beam effect parts. Okay, another beam effect part. So this, this thing has a whole bunch of beam effects. So <laughs> I'm not even sure where half of this stuff is going to end up, but hey. Uh, next up, we have some whites and blacks here. And it's red and reds in the back and a lot of gold. I didn't realize this thing even had this much gold. I guess I wasn't really paying much attention to it because I didn't even see any gold at all. <laughs> Actually, look at this thing around the box, but very cool. Who isn't a fan of the uh, Kotsky, right? So next here, we have another one of those uh, beam capes. Looks very good, just as the other one. So I imagine it's probably just the exact same beam effect. So I can't wait to build that thing, see how that uh, shapes up. And now we have the menu here, sporting a very awesome image, just like the others. And of course, the pilot. I cannot tell whether that is a boy or a girl. <laughs> I guess we'll find out when we watch the movie. Huh? All right. So we're now looking at our final amazing artwork here for the manual. Again, letting you know what series this thing is from and what that series is about. There we go. This guy has the Kingdom Foundation logo. And what, did this one come out after? I forget. Uh, no, it came out. Yeah, it did. It came out before. What the heck is this? With this line of suits being so inconsistent. This one has the Kingdom Foundation logo and all that. The other one said Black Knight Squad and showed nothing here. But it said it was the... Kingdom Foundation mobile suit up here. Like, this, this band is all over the place. But, um, anywho, me not being able to tell whether the pilot here is a uh, girl or a boy aside. We have some stuff on a mobile suit. So, yeah, as you can see here, this thing has three beam sabers, but apparently it's only going to be able to hold them in two hands. Well, actually, no, that's not true. I know how it <laughs> holds two of its three beam sabers. But, um, moving on along here. So, okay, most of that gold stuff is going to be inside of the suit, so you'll only kind of see glimpses of it shining out. So it makes me wonder if they use maybe a little too much uh, of a little gold frame there. We, of course, here have the three pages here in the front that are all in color. Again, Banda, you can slowly make these menus more and more colored. Just go all the way. It's okay. We um, can afford the extra $5 to do it. You won't regret it. <laughs> but uh, this thing is going to be very interesting to build. I can't wait to uh, post this thing off with its assortment of beam weapons. This thing also has an assortment of stickers all over the legs, apparently. We have the nice backpack here. 
And of course, we get on over here to the weapons. It's a wide variety of melee weapons, I should say. I want to say this thing has one range weapon. It's like the the chest machine gun cans, I'm not mistaken, right? Let's see. If it does, I missed out on it. Yeah, it, it looks like it does. Yeah, right there, the close needle projection system. I must have missed it um, in the manual, but I think I should enough for you guys to be able to see. Oh, okay, it has foot um, weapons as well, okay. I'm like, this thing has a lot of beam weapons. What are, where, where are all these beams coming from? But um, that is going to be it for this guy here. And that's going to be it for all the things I'm unboxing as well, actually. So, I hope you guys enjoyed these unboxings. I have been waiting for months for these things to finally show up. And I got so jealous. I'm seeing other people getting theirs in and reviewing and whatnot. Uh, meanwhile, I'm still waiting. But every dog has his day, right? So, that, of course, is going to be it for this amazing unboxing. This is probably one of the best unboxings I've done in a while. Mainly because... I'm actually re reviewing some newer stuff, I'll admit. I, although I do like getting some of the older stuff, nothing uh, brings more excitement to my little heart than getting some of the more modern stuff. So we, of course, have what is really Gundam Seed Freedom, the unboxing. And uh, I'm going to make sure I have plenty of time to build each and every one of these things. I'm going to try to see if I can build all of these in a week. But um, besides this guy being the, the doozy here that's going to probably slow it all down. Um, I guess you guys will find out how many of these I imagine they're being out in a week. <laughs> in this uh, coming month. When you see all the reviews. So as always you guys thank you so much for watching. Uh, hopefully both of my unboxes here. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video or review.